Happy Sunday! Sunday! We're doing a podcast on the Sunday. Oh, we can't shake. We can't shake. We're in the arena. Did y'all see it? Look how pretty. Hey! Hey, you know what? No. <laughs> uh, the arena here, the dirt and stuff, has been really Speak healing louder. for me. The arena <laughs> and all that dirt has been real healing for me. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I spent some time in that arena personally as a person. And. <laughs> well, are you going to be a horse? <laughs> With my horse, <laughs> oh, we're gonna get together. With my horse, and just walking through that arena in a brand new pair of boots, and it's been so so healing for me. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, just to highlight that, this arena is in our parking lot of our church, um, and it is to pur purpose to reach people that wouldn't normally go in that church building over there. So if you know anything about cowboys and bull riders and all the things that come into this arena, barrel racers. Um, you know that some of them uh, lead a different lifestyle. I mean, I would say a reckless lifestyle. And if you knew anything about me and my past, I used to lead a reckless lifestyle in these boots. Same. Like, well, not those boots, but. <laughs> in our own pair of boots. Yeah, my own boots, not these though. I'm wearing my army shoes today. Now you're wearing your like, our, yeah. the Lord's army boots. Amen. Um, so if you know anything about me and my past, yes, that's it. And so today when we, go ahead. No, well, when you wore those boots prior to Jesus, what did that life look oh, like to you? Oh, it was wild and reckless. <laughs> like I what? Give probably... us some examples. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how many bar tops these boots I have danced. Not like just dancing, y'all. Not like <laughs> doing the other. But like I would jump up there and dance and throw napkins. and Center of attention. Be attention, yes. Mm -hmm. And I would also go dance my the night away and drink and do all the things and and I partied. Like, so what do those boots see now? Oh man, now they come into the church with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For the longest time, I had to look and um, like you know I would like had this like feeling there was something stuck to my boots for the longest time, <laughs> and I don't feel that way anymore. But I did for a long time, and I think Amen. it's because I was still like dusting off the thing. There is a scripture that says dust off your boots. Well, I'm, yes. What was it? But they don't accept you in that town to dust the dirt from your shoes or and dust it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was something like I have really had to remember when I do things is I'm not the person that I used to be. And I also Amen. am not ashamed of my testimony. And that's kind of what I thought that uh, the Lord has been laying on my heart today is for us to talk about not being ashamed of your testimony and it's only yours and yours only to share. And so if you have a testimony and you don't want to share it then i mean don't share it and you can also share it in private i do my things real big because i like to share it with the world uh, her dancing husband... on tables were just the the beginning of what the lord's calling her for she was using it in the world but really the lord is going to use that for his glory so he is he is as a matter of fact one day speaking of this arena one day i was going through something and it was the beginning of my testimony and i was going through this thing and i um came up to church because Jason's like, come up here, we'll pray for you, whatever. And then I'm like talking to him in the parking lot and then someone else pulls up. It was Felicia. <laughs> and he goes, uh, the Lord just told me to go up to her and have her pray for you. And I was like, okay, this y'all, this was before I was really, really, really walking with the Lord. And I was like, okay, fine. And as she's praying for me, I had this vision. Like I didn't even hear anything that she was really praying. Sorry. But I had this vision of me standing in the, the arena in a pink shirt with a microphone in my hand mm -hmm. and a hat. So I didn't wear really, but like what, six months later, six or seven months later, I was standing in the arena with a microphone in my hand and, pink. and sparkly Sparkles. pants <laughs> and giving uh, my, my part of my testimony and giving a word to some ladies. And mm -hmm. I had all the women that helped me, the army of women, Amen. the army shoes, the <laughs> army of women that helped me uh, beside me. And so it was an amazing thing. So you just never know. I mean, it can be six months. It can be day to day. It can be years later. But the Lord will use your testimony. So don't be ashamed of it either. We all have things that we've done and we're ashamed of. There's that beat. Don't be scared. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> Earlier we were sitting on a, a um, swing, swing, porch, a porch swing. <laughs> and the bee came and she like did it. not like it. And then Charlene, our friend over here said, if you stay calm, they won't they harm won't you. Harm you. And so I stayed calm and it landed on my finger and it cried. It but she said that when you freak out, that it smells a different smell on you. And that's when it freaks out once it's stingy, right? So it landed on my forehead or whatever. I was like, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Because I didn't want my smells to come off weird. <laughs> And then later on, it's like flying around and it landed there. And then she goes, no, no, or it didn't land. And she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so anyways, y'all know that I don't like bees or flying wasps. 
spiders aren't a big deal, but those two, I don't know. I, I like. try to relocate everything. I try not to. I just tell it. Jesus' name, flee, is what I tell it. <laughs> and believe that it's going to leave, and it will. Yeah, but unless he's trying to teach you a lesson. Well, it's gone me. now. It's not in my ear anymore, so we're okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to back on focus. Back to our testimony. <laughs> so, I you, wanted to say, too, that sometimes sharing our testimony is literally just in conversation. When I'm at work or at Walmart and we're talking to somebody, I might just tell them what the Lord has done for me in this moment mm -hmm. or what the Lord has done for me this week. Sometimes we just have to be obedient in hearing him say, okay, now go further or share a little mm -hmm. bit more. And you're like, I don't want to share. That's embarrassing. Like, I don't want them to know my past. No. But you have no idea what they're walking through, but the Lord does. So when we're obedient and we share that little bit, even if it's just a little bit of your testimony, you, know, you don't know what it's doing for their heart. They might never tell you. You just be obedient. <laughs> Well, and that's true. And also the Lord will send you the people that you're, you're supposed to minister to. And trust Amen. me, I like me, I used to be wild and, and, and I like She's to go She's going to get all the wild ones. I, I will <laughs> meet so many people that were me a few years ago. Or me trying to figure out this, this where, where this balance is and how to lead in. And at the beginning of their walk, or like and some of them are still living that life. And, and so, and there's a lot of my friends from my past on my Facebook. And I hope y'all are watching. No. Same, same. <laughs> just kidding. I just kidding. But that honestly, in the all, in all seriousness, the reason when this podcast came about and the Lord used Jordana to nudge <laughs> us both to get here, I heard him tell me that some of my audience is some of you on my Facebook Amen. and from my past Amen. because we haven't deleted each other off of Facebook. <laughs> we're, just, we're just there awkwardly. Awkwardly. Um, <laughs> So y'all see me, y'all see me, and I know that that's what some people think is, wow, how can her, the person that used to come out here and be mean and wild and rowdy and mouthy and and drink, I don't know how many shots of fireball or tequila or whatever, be the person that's sitting here telling me about Jesus. Amen. Also, don't hold that against me either, Amen. because I feel like I have healed and grown, and a lot of you haven't seen that what that looks like, mm -hmm. and it's not for you to see. Just you should know me by my fruits. Amen. And now I am trying to be a better person. I'm trying to raise my kid in a better way. I'm trying to use our marriage, and as an example too. Just so many things that the Lord is just working. He's still working on me. I am by no means anywhere where I think he, number one, wants me to be. Number two, <laughs> I'm not perfect and I never will be perfect. We're but all I have a grown. Yeah, we're growing. And, and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay if you made a mistake last night. It's okay that you made a mistake today. And I was, I, there's been a couple of sad, well, there was a lot in the beginning mm -hmm. that I would be at the bar, Cowboys Red River on Saturday night, and I'd walk into shame, church. Shame walk in the church with the same makeup on same boots on and as the night before smelling like tequila and you know what not one person said anything to me and they shouldn't thank you jesus <laughs> that everyone welcomed me with open arms and loved me anyways but look at her now yeah look at me now she go out with her boots on and get drunk every no. night now may no. she do it once in a while i don't know no, but that's between her even. and the lord not even <laughs> but i thank the lord when i see the change in renee i because i i saw even just a glimpse of her crazy messiness at the beginning. I didn't know her outside of church, but I did know when she came to church and she was a mess and it was a big mess. And she would come and steal the show for an hour for coffee because, <laughs> because of all her drama she was going through. But to see, be on this side of it and to see where she is, how she thinks that she goes to the Lord now for things. Mm -hmm. She doesn't lean on her own understanding, no. but on the Lord's understanding and knowing that we're sp fighting a spiritual battle, not mm -hmm. a physical one. So when things come up with someone, we're trying to see the spiritual side of things, right? Not just the physical. That's another big thing when we're when we talk to people. And I was going to say, now that she's lived this life and she was crazy and she was mean, <laughs> Her compassion level for someone in that same mm -hmm. boat is going to be so much different than me. I was not attention. I was not that kind of attention. I was not on a bar, and I wasn't dancing and doing all those things. Now I had a lot of guy friends, a lot of those. But what I'm saying is, I forgot what I said. <laughs> Your attention was different yes. than mine. Yes. Your compassion, my so level of compassion. Her compassion for people that are on a bar table are going to be different than mine. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm going to be like, boy, get down from there. Like, they're looking <laughs> dumb. And you're like, but I've been there. Mm -hmm. And their calling is different. Mm -hmm. And you can love them on a different level. So I'll be like, Lord, give me compassion for them. Whereas she'll be like, come here, baby. 
you, love me, love me, you. I get you. <laughs> yeah, she'll understand. And not that I would shun them. It would just be a little different. I would try to understand you it. You don't understand it. You yes. don't under, we don't have the same level of understanding for right. that type of mentality in someone. But that's why we're all important in the kingdom, because we all come from different lives. We all come yes. from different walks. And we all need to work in unity as one mm -hmm. for the kingdom and for his glory. So just mm -hmm. because I don't connect with someone doesn't mean they're not believer or it doesn't mean that they're not trying. It just means I'm not the one that's supposed to be ministering to them, right? So you pray with them and Lord, send them the right person. Check on them until the Lord does send that person. When they do, then feel a little freedom to move on mm -hmm. <laughs> and start mm -hmm. learning to say no. Like don't always feel like you have to be a people pleaser and you have oh, to do everything yeah, people big. ask you to do that's or big. anything like that. Cause I'm learning right now to say no. And it's hard. It's really hard to say no. You know, it's funny <laughs> you say that cause the other day, um, order was in my, on my heart, on my heart. And then I actually talked to a couple people and they would say order. They know that there's order. I was like, Oh Lord confirmation. <laughs> but it was an order. There's order in things. There so. is order. So. And and to say no is okay, and it's not you're not doing it to be spiteful or mean. You just need to start listening to the spirit. Lord, do you want me to go here? Do you want me to talk mm -hmm. to these people? Is this how you want me to do this? La di da di da. And as you start, start baby steps. I mean, Lord, sounds silly. Can I have coffee in the morning? It sounds dumb, but if you start with those small things mm -hmm. in your own house, as you progress, you'll go out into the world and shake the world for His kingdom. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you just remind me. Today, our church was a little different. Uh, it was amazing. It, it was, was so good. Um, but on my way here, there was someone in my heart, and they have started going to church here, and they're from my past. They're from my past. And I was like, there's been a couple things. And I was like, Lord, am I supposed to talk to them? Well, then our preacher today goes, okay, now y'all go mingle and tell us about some conversation. <laughs> you had to talk to them. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't. I, I went to talk to them. So I prayed about it and I was like, okay. And I felt where the Lord sent me and I had confirmation in all my conversations. Of, I had three different people in that. And I came back around the front to see if um, they were still there and they were gone. So I was like, you know what, Lord, if, that, if this wasn't the setting and the opportunity for me to say something or for Amen. us to have that conversation, because it is kind of a hard, awkward conversation, then it's not. So then I just let well, it be. Because you could have pushed them out. Yes. And I just let it be and it wasn't it. So I always try to ask, Lord, what are you trying to teach me? Amen. So <sighs> that is so hard. What are you trying to teach me? Because sometimes I'm like, okay, I did this. I repented. Like, whatever. Why is it not gone? <laughs> right. like, or whatever. Or why did, what is it? And why is it still here? Or whatever. And so I try to really be obedient. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm listening and, and I'm always aware of what he wants me to do, not what me, myself. Well, because if we had that conversation just because our flesh says, hey, we need to talk to that person, mm -hmm. it could have gone array. It could have gone wrong. It could have, mm -hmm. they could have not come back to church for years and years and years. We don't know. Right. The Lord says not right now, but when he does say it's time, their hearts are going to be prepared and they're yes. going to be ready for whatever she has to say to them. Yes. And there's going to be rec reconciliation at some level. It doesn't have to be fully, but there will be at some level, they will be okay with each other. They're going to attend church together and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fun. I've had many of those happen. At uh, King's Trail, it's a very popular church in this area. For some reason, everybody's like, I've heard of that one or I've been there. So yes. there's been many people walk in and I'm like, ah, they yeah. know me from <laughs> XYZ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, here we are. Yeah. And you see me up in the front, praise the Lord. Amen. And they're probably like, what is that? So. <laughs> amen, amen. Um, so, but just remember, like, we had a powerful testimony at the ladies' coffee that I host um and it's actually on my feed if you haven't watched it you should like, you should watch it made it. me cry and i only watched the first few minutes so far and i was like ah. i was like <laughs> trying not to cry in the background um but it's powerful and how your testimony and what the things you go through it may not be look like it's a good thing and you might be in the testimony now and now it's a storm and it may be hard and rough and you're not going to see the you don't see how it could be used and man the lord is just amazing because he turns it into such a beautiful thing and such a powerful testimony not only for you to like walk through the storm and your family but for others and so Amen. no matter how small or big your testimony some people don't have big testimonies i have had someone tell me that and, and that's okay and that's okay mm -hmm. that's not your there's ev there's so many people out there that are 
the same way as you. It's like the Lord's gonna send them. He's you gonna don't have send to be you. crazy. No, you don't have to, to be have crazy. a big testimony. No, like I have siblings who have not lived the same life as me at all, but they love Jesus with their every mm -hmm. every fiber, and so for them, they're just gonna come out and tell you black and white. They're not confused. Mm -hmm. To me, sometimes when we have a bigger testimony, there's confusion. We're like, but how can the Lord love us if we do X, Y, Z, and blah, 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 where my siblings, they just know. They're just like, they're Without just walk in there and know, but they know that they are loved. And so they bring a whole different atmosphere, right? When I'm right. around them, because they, they know, they they've known, that. they don't have a confusion of, well, I did this and this and this. Anyhow, not saying that it's any less or better. Nothing is less or better. No, the Lord uses every testimony for his kingdom. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> we are all pieces of a puzzle. Your friend is back. Yeah. Um, so just remember <laughs> that when you're talking and you're talking about your testimony and or you're just talking and also be kind and considerate of other people's testimonies. So it's not yours to share. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't mind. You can share my testimony with any and all whoever okay. wants to hear. Like I, I think I'm going to write a book one day. Oh, I started. Lord. I actually started a book. It's actually in my notes, but not very many people know that. So why don't you make it like a Spotify book where it's a vocal whatever what do oh, they call it like an so audible book? i feel like i would get so much more done if i did i would that. listen to that better than read something i would i wanted to make like where get one of those things where you talk into it and it types for you oh the words. lord yeah. but i you know what i have a hard time with that because apparently i'm a really hick voice earlier Probably i was you making born fun and raised in this little town. This town right five miles up the road earlier i was making fun of someone and he's a blast at church and he said something there there are about a hundred of them or something and i said really there's a hundred of them oh, and dear. like made a whole joke and everyone in the back of the church looked at me because i they only heard me say hundred of them like real loud and so that's me she's, wow. a, she's a red neck woman i know <laughs> class brought. all right anyways <laughs> <laughs> Jesus loves you. He loves you. We love you. And, and we'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>